are currently on a ferry to Bruni Island. Bruni Island. So me, Ross, Sam and Aurora are going to go out snorkeling. The water looks super clear and the sun's coming out so it should be pretty good. That's so clear within like two seconds. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> Just gonna clean this crab up for tea. Right. So have what ever, have type of crab is this? Shade? Not one of these. I'm hoping they're exactly the same as a mud crab. But I don't know if they are, so we'll find out. Can't be too different, you wouldn't think. Oh dear. Oh. It's definitely different. <laughs> They're a bit stronger, I think, than a mud crab. There we go. Eat that aurora. No. That's your dinner. Dirty. How do you think the crab's going to taste, Shano? It should be delicious. What are you throwing away? It's his gills. Oh, See how he breathes. That would be disgusting. So they're pretty much exactly the same as a mud crab, just a little bit stronger. Sweet. Give that a wash, that's ready to go. There's a bit of meat in there. Definitely not as much as, as a mud crab, but there's definitely something edible in there. A little bit more meat in the legs. Yeah, those legs are good. <laughs> Right, I'm cooking up this bloody spider crab that Roscoe caught. I'm just going to do it exactly the same way that we did the cray the other day, which you would have seen. Which again is exactly the same way I do mud crabs at home. I just think it's the best. I think it's the best way to do crab. So, chili garlic, fry it off, crab in, a little bit of water, steam it up. Obviously, we um, clean the crab. Get all the guts and shit out and the gills and all that. I just find it's a better way, it's a better way to eat and it's a better way to get the shit. It's just kind of chili so I'm too hot. Good oil, Roscoe. Oh, well, they just a little cheeky angle change. That was good. Where's Chili garlic in. Wait till the heat comes on. And we just fry that till it smells delicious. That does smell bloody good. It smells good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> From chili and garlic, just smells delicious as soon as it hits the oil. Well, we might crack these, these dogs a little bit. That's what we want. That looks soft, smells delicious. We're just gonna jam these dogs in straight like that. Just about a quick swizzle. We're gonna just throw a little bit of water in there. The old Roscoe kitchen, Is that pump on. Nah. Just a tiny bit more, just so it doesn't boil out. Crank that, get it boiling, and then lid on. That's it. Come back in 15, 20, and see how delicious it is. I'll be back in. I'll be back in. Ooh. Wait. Nobody bump that. 
foggy boy. We had a little taste test. She's a beaut. Welcome to Surf and Turf. Yeah, turn into Surf and Turf because we've got lamb as well. So we've got lamb, roast pumpkin, onion, freshly baked bread from Bruni Baker, the crab. Charred This is a vibe. Full Thanks, spread. Very good. What do you call a camp it. spread? I made it. Oh, I helped cook. Okay, portion that crab up. Oh! Someone I'm hasn't even that on YouTube. eaten anything yet. <laughs> she has, she's been sneaking into land. And uh, of course, you can't forget like the garlic. Garlic sauce. Yeah. Garlic sauce, gotta go with it. Yes. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Alright. Give us a look at the plate, Charlotte. Full surf. Beautiful. I wonder what the people that are doing it hard camping are <laughs> eating. Campbell's, Campbell's suit. Did you get garlic sauce, Shane? Oh, no, I haven't yet. Oh, we're both recording. Oh, okay. gosh, it's terrible. It's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, first taste of the crab, guys. It's good. Delicious. It's damn good. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I still don't know if it's my crab spec, personally. I don't think I've eaten enough to judge yet. <laughs> yeah, the mud crabs are hard to get. I definitely think mud crabs are Morton Bay bugs on the face. Very nice. So, but yeah, no, it's pretty good. It's good. Look yeah, at your good. little nipple face. It's good size. Oh, that's the big one. Yeah, Are you so showing them this? Yeah. Hey, look at it. So big. Yeah, mm. All right. Now from the chef to the catcher. Yeah. Thoughts? Yes. I've eaten the leg and it's really good. I'm still going to eat the nipple. Okay. They're not too bad. Excellent. Crazy. All right, guys. <laughs> Enjoy. G'day. What are we doing today? Chasing a bit of everything, a bit of a seafood feast is the goal. We had a good day yesterday down at Adventure Bay. Went for a bit of a trip around and just had a look at the sights, did a walk and that. It was a nice little spot. Uh, but the weather's pretty mint today, so we decided to put the boat in just in front of where we are. Yeah, not, not much wind at all, and it's actually quite cool, uh, quite warm. I'm not, I'm not even wearing a bloody jumper today, it's good. So we sort of I guess inadvertently did a little girls versus boys thing. We sent the girls off to run some errands and they're going to try and pick up some um, mussels at one of the spots we saw yesterday. In the meantime, me and Ross are out here. Ross is getting in the water. <laughs> As we established the other day with Tim, it's definitely not my favourite thing to do. So, so Ross is the, the resident diver. So we're going to drop him in here and see what he can find. I'm going to patrol around behind him, um, flick the squid jig and maybe some plastics and see if we can catch something else. We've got the crab pots on board, hopefully if we can shoot a wrasse or something and get some, um, get some bait and drop those crab pots in, try and get a sand crab or something. So, um, yeah, we've got a bit on. Hopefully it all turns out. If it doesn't, you'll probably never see this anyway, so... I don't know, let's get into it. Come back with food! He said yes. Yeah, squiddy, squiddy, squiddy. Apparently that's what you do when you fish for squid, you got to call to them. I always forget how nice it is being just on my boat, on my own. It's not a selfish thing or anything, it just means I can actually stand on the car stick. I've always either got Charlotte or... It's usually someone with me. 
it's nice you get all this bloody space to yourself walk around Ross is just hollered underwater. Surprisingly, it came out of the bloody snorkel pretty well. I heard him. <laughs> There's something going on. Ugh. He's nodding. I don't know what that means. We're gonna have to work out some signaling, I think. He's either shot something or he's seen something or there's a shark chasing him. He shot something, I reckon. Oh, we're hooked. You got one? Yeah. Right, oh, you wanna, I'll go down here, you wanna try and get in or? Yeah. Or you just wanna stay there? Okay. Walking, hold on. <laughs> Big grass, perfect crab bait. Oh. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's him. You should have shot him in the head. Close. <laughs> it's a good shot. First, first, first fish on the spear. That's good, good effort. Of course he did. You would too if you got shot with a bloody spear. Oh, he was all right. Butted? Nah, what are you? Come on. Start. There we go. There's fuddies around. Catch them the same way you can catch fuddies at home. Just drag along the bottom. That's a sad fuddy too. Yeah. He's got the sad. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, it makes sense, eh? Well, that's good. Good, good sign. Right, our new spot. Ross has left the gun. He's just going to go and look for some bloody abs. See if we can grab a cray. That'd be pretty cool. I'll just cast that squid jig out under a float. I'm going to flick around and see if it's a salmon. I don't know if this is really salmon territory or not. Well, Roscoe there's been diving in the same spot for a few minutes, so hopefully he's onto something. Came up before spluttering like he was bloody suffocating, but he seems to be all good, he's still close. I'll just put the anchor in to save this bloody electric motor working for us off. Yeah, I was just saying it'd be mint if we had some beers. But uh, yeah, the girls are picking some up because we're, we're all out. So, yeah. Wait and see what he comes back with. Maybe do a bit of a troll for a kingfish. I'm just dreaming. Uh, and we'll go back around the corner and chase some squid and hope there's some crabs in there. Pretty beautiful place. I'm definitely happy with my decision to be on the boat nice and dry. As opposed to the water. Anyway, hopefully this feed is coming on. Hopefully the girls have got some, some muscles that are rustling up. So while the boys are out in the boat, we have come back down to Inventure Bay to try and get some mussels, but the tide is higher than it was the last time we were down here. <laughs> Can you see any? Um. Yeah, show me. This is one of the things that are also on the rock. Oh, pretty, what's that? It's a thing that you can eat. <laughs> so I didn't really come dressed appropriately for this either. I had like leggings and boots on. <laughs> so poor Sam's having to suck it up.
Yeah. Yeah. I'll hold the bottom, you pull the top. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah. There's a shell in there. That's okay. Look, that's yep, the put that. unicorn here. Yeah, put the lid back on now. If I can. Yeah, you can, I reckon. That's the boy colour. <laughs> So, not bad. Sam's still going. We're doing pork ribs tonight, but we thought we'd do a little seafood feast for it. So, pretty good. But how beautiful is this here? Look at this. The color of the water. Honestly, you'd think you're in Mauritius or something. Except for the rain coming in the background. Oh, nice work, ladies. I should do a good feed. Absolutely. Thanks, Sam, for your hard work. Uh -huh. All good. Worth the work, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Mine too. Yeah, you P both got the work. Go at low tide. Yeah. <laughs> Not high tide. Not good planning on our part there. Well, to be fair, we were sent. Very true. We had true. planned it would have been right. Yep. We were sent. Yep. Anyway, all good. So let's go get some blackberries. Yep, blackberries time now. We're the, um... Can we have these guys in the back? We're being the queens of foraging today. I'm bringing home the... Seafood instead of the bacon? Yeah. Speaking of, we did buy bacon. <laughs> Bring home the bacon too. <laughs> Hey, oh, mussels, what are you getting? Yeah, right. You were in that spot for ages. I'm like, he's obviously on something. Oh, the small tinny life. Daddy, I'll probably get a spew. Yeah, you sounded like you were <laughs> spewing there a minute ago. <laughs> Just suck a bit of that salt water in. Awesome, Apparently you brought that other glove. This is why I like being on the boat. Nice clean, What is that, muscles? Oh, knife. Oh, with the knife? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you must have been on to something, you buddy, hanging there for ages. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good haul. Yeah, you were just in there. Starting to like this type of fishing. We'll just sit on the boat. Roscoe brings back the goodies. They're pretty good. Oh, some of them. Some of them are a good size, some of them are a bit small. Got another, got another ab there. That's good. Yeah, that's a good one. Sweet as. We'll just have a flick along here for some squid. Yeah, do it. Because if they're schooled up like that, you just f***ing shoot in the middle, you're bound to get one. <laughs> just skewer them all on. Well, it's productive so far, that's good. Yeah, even if you see a big salmon or something, that'll be the go. Oh, see, what are they? Something just chased it out. It was moving pretty quick. I reckon salmon are a fast retriever or slow? No, they go quick, eh? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You go school up, but they usually run. Like, run along. Yeah. Ooh, this is all pretty sandy. I'll we'll just let this fucking run out the back. See if it grabs a fucking fight or something. It's probably actually pretty easy to dive from this boat because it is so low. See, what are you? Yeah, it's 
Valeu! That recorded or not, but I just landed a squid. I'll have to go back and see that GoPro froze. I want to muck around in case there's a school of them. I'm trying to get a couple. I hope it recorded because it's pretty much my only contribution to the feast today, other than owning the vessel. Oh, that was fish. Yes, got him. Is that recording this time? Yes, it is. I was just burning that in to bring it back in, and then I noticed there's a squid pole on it. All right, I'm gonna try and do this again. No ink in the boat. Oh, not me hat. Ugh. Damn it. That one was not as successful. Hopefully the first one came in because the first one was bloody good. That's on me damn hat. God damn it. Ah. Ah. Oh, I got a feeling that's not going to come out. Oh, it's in the hat. Oh, man. They're lucky they're delicious. Shit. Don't squirt again, you dog. There'd you go. Ooh. He's a good one, isn't he? Oh. He's another good one. What? Yeah. I just got two squid. Let's see if, yeah, let's see if there's any more. We're pretty much right on top of where I was getting them. This bloody thing's all f tangled up. Has it come good? Oh, it's nearly come good. Yeah, it's oh, it's wrapped in the. Yeah, we're on. I was trying to f around with this motor. And I just burnt this lure in, and then there was a squid sitting right behind it. Oh, they're down, are they down? Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to take this propeller off, I think. She's proper wrapped. Ross is yelling something at me. He pointed. It might have been that he's found a school of squid. Or like I said, could be shark, you never know. Oh, yep, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think there was some squid following them. I think. Or am I imagining? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty well out of GoPro battery. It's fast approaching near o'clock, so we'll probably, well, once Ross realises I'm ready to go, we'll, uh, we'll get out and we'll cruise back in. It's about 10 minutes back to camp. Uh, and yeah, we'll cook up this feast. We've got pretty good, pretty good, um, yeah, pretty good, really. 
So we've got a heap of mussels there. I've got a cool recipe I want to do with that. Um, and we've got a couple of crayfish and some abs. Oh, sorry, not crayfish. A couple of squid and some abalone. So, yeah, it should be quite the feast. Anyway, I'll see you back then. We'll cook it up. Well, I caught the two squid. Oh, you caught the two squid too. And I too. own the boat. <laughs> I own the boat. That's what I said before. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well, we are taking a leaf out of Andy Cook's book, thanks to Sam's idea after watching it. So this recipe actually comes from Andy Cook's. Yeah. So thanks, Andy. So kiwi fruit juice. And this is for the squid. Yeah. So uh, Shane's just cubed it up and we've got the tentacles in here. So just give it a mix and let it sit for I reckon memory I think it was half an hour half hour and uh, it's supposed to tenderize it so keen to see how this goes yeah I'll be interested to to find out of yeah okay nothing I've ever heard of before and then uh, corn flour and fry it sweet so the plan for tonight is to do the squid and then I'm gonna clean up the mussels so these are the mussels the boys got and then in here we have the mussels that we already got today so teamwork, they're in there purging. Um, and then obviously we'll do maybe one or two of the abalone tonight. And then what else do we have in? Is that it? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. It should be a seafood feast. It's Yum. Good. All right, I'm going to get into clean these mussels. Look at him, safely. Oh, safely. Oh, yeah. And then can you see the worm? There's a worm in there too. All sorts getting around. Oh, cool. yeah. We're just cleaning them up, ready to purge them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got all sorts of fluffies on them. Yep. <laughs> That's the stuff. Purge them in some clean salt water and I'll put a little bit of ice with them, I think, cool them down. That's a good idea. What is this? Oh, a sea slug. This is a sea slug. That is a sea slug. Oh, yeah? Family found one. You don't want to eat all the fish. <laughs> Look at you go, Sam. Oh. That's the weird one. Yeah, I think that we might leave him there. I can't get that off. Hmm. The boys can make that cool. All right, I'll leave you to it. Mm. <laughs> a little bit's okay, isn't it? Yeah, you know I reckon. What? Yeah, that'll be fine, I reckon. I don't know, I've never done this before. Well, apparently yeah. it's the enzyme in it that yeah. helps break it down. It makes sense, it's the same as a brine. Right. Yeah, same, so same, I think it's principle. supposed to like tenderize the yeah. enzyme. Re releases anyway. the... Andy, tell us what we're supposed to be <laughs> Releases the muscle, same, same as any old brine, oh, yeah. with citrus and... Okay. Acid. Yep. So that's pretty much good in there. I'll get this other stuff to bread. Yep. Yep. Bag. <laughs> so same as last time, salt, pepper, but corn flour this time. Oh, we got a bag, which is good. And sorry about any background noise. We've somehow become the daycare center for the campground. <laughs> a little bit of salt, a little bit of pep. Yes, that looks so good. Oh, the girls are out in the other car. We've got a thing we've just been paying each night, and he's like, oh, yeah, there's no worries. And he just goes, but he said, he goes, anytime you get breached. Social media. I've seen it on something, so. Because I know yogurt tenderizes like chicken and everything. So yeah. Yogurt work as well. Same thing. Um, I've done it with milk. I didn't get you <laughs> tasting it. That kiwi fruit makes it like so soft. True. What's that? Mm. Yeah. Bit hot, Aurora? Yep. Yep. Mm. 
Yeah. And look at this shell. You probably changed the report. I already showed you. It's so cool. All right, Russ, here we go. Reaction time. Look at how soft that is. Yeah, that's good. That's definitely the hardest. What hard about hang. me? Well, then, jump into it. Look at how that breaks apart. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, that's damn good. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Mm. Awesome. I know, right? Stop it. We knew the cornflower was better though, right? Yeah. Yeah. For you. Oh, um, top. Oh my god. Like the texture changes, hey? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. <laughs> I love that sauce. Oh, it's already gone. Yeah, I mean, it's because there's more fish coming. What's the squid? It's on here, babe. <laughs> it's gone. Chill out, it's coming, babe. You're not getting any. You, you can have it after you your muscles. You want some noodles, don't you? You want noodles instead? No, I want noodles and the caramel. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this might be a bit a bit too much for the task. I think I really pulverized a couple of them. Oh, really? So you're smashing up the abalone, hey? Yeah, they feel like they're in more than single pieces now, but we'll see. <laughs> The mallet's pretty hectic. It is very hectic, Cameron. <laughs> Let's see what I've done wrong. Oh dear. <laughs> Good job they're going to get sliced anyway. <laughs> yeah, look, I've gone a little too far, I will be honest. <laughs> I've gone a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, she'll be all right. Can't win them all. They're definitely tender. Well, that's good. I'll leave you to slice all them up and get them ready to go, shall I? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How's the Tento's product placement? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be carried away. They didn't even, didn't even film the cooking. Let's just reenact it. Ch <laughs> <laughs> Ch <laughs> Ch <laughs> And she's a beaut. Delicious. Yeah, it's serving the shell. You know, I get stuck in. Yeah, I reckon that sauce will go all right. You want this? Oh. It's good, eh? <laughs> Is it good with the dipping sauce? It's damn good with the dipping sauce. Pulverising it, like over pulverising it, definitely makes it softer, eh? Oh, that sauce with that. How good is that? That's nice. All right. We've got this. I don't even know what that is. It's good. Do you want chili in your sofrito, Shane? Maybe a So, time for the main event. Um, so, what we're doing, just doing the mussels there. I'm just going to do them in a, like a tomato-y sort of sauce and then we're just going to dip some bread in and it's going to be delicious. So, first step is sofrito. Onion, garlic, chili, carrot, celery. Just all muzzed up. So yeah, just gonna load all that in the cam oven. Bit of olive oil. You'll see it come together. Oh, is everyone bloody cams are so busy. Anyway, oil's hot. Olive oil. Just had to spend the time to try and get the the fire right. Go for like a really hot a really hot side and then a not so hot side so I can sear on this side and then move it over when it needs to simmer. So we're just going to cook that until pretty much all the moisture is gone and starts to stick to the bottom and it'll smell, it'll smell good. You can smell the cooked garlic, the cooked onion, the cooked chilli, all that sort of stuff. So probably five to ten minutes. Come back to there. Alright, that's done. Like I said, it's sticking. That smells good. We'll chuck the mussels in. Up in. Oh, and the bowl. Alright, we're going to load up a bit of white wine. We're just going to cook that till it's mostly gone. We're on the hot side for all this, really trying to cook it, cook it quick. Cool. What about tomatoes? Charlotte, help. Sorry. Oh. There That's you go. Cool. Sorry. Got distracted. What did we get? Oh, yeah. Just whole peeled tomatoes. All right, uh, that's in. I'm just going to chuck a little bit of water. 
break those tomatoes up a touch. Just chuck a bit of tomato paste in. I probably ideally would have done that before I put the wine and stuff in, just actually cooked it physically on the hot. But you can't win them all, didn't know we had it. Uh, hot side, get that crank in, just a little tiny bit of water. It won't need much because those muscles will sweat a bit. I mean, I want that sauce to be thick and full of flavour, which it will be. Can you see, is there a light good on that? I haven't gone, yeah. We'll get in here and have a look. That's what we're looking at. So we're just going to lid on, lid on, get it boiling, and then simmer, probably 10, 15, something like that. Cool. Sweet. Right, so just a little bit of the good stuff. Touch to that. Charlotte loves it, that. <laughs> Almost as much as I love you. Just not very much. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Wow. No. <laughs> He's cooking your dinner and you burn him. I know. <laughs> He's used to it. Used to it, yeah. That was fine. So I just waited for all them to open up. It sort of open right up. Right. I don't really think you can overcook a mussel when you cook them like this, but you want, them to, you, want, you want the shells to be properly open. If they're not open, I usually don't eat them. Bad yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Good. Oh yeah, damn good. Right. We got a little piece stump here. I'm just gonna bang this right on here. Oh, made for it. Go get some bread from the Bruni Baker. You're gonna have to save. Should be right. No one knock it. Good luck. Looks like a fish state, doesn't it? Do be up. And we're just gonna sit around, dip some bread, eat some mussels and enjoy. Yeah, thanks Shane. No worries, get stuck in. Like I'm stuck all the times that I've eaten. Sorry, I've moved around but I'm gonna end up. Sure. No, no, that's all good. <laughs> Heaps of room. All right. the times that I've um Thank you. That's a little bit doughy. Is that bread? Yeah, I know. <laughs> a bit of a shame. I thought it was sticky. Could be in sauce. Sauce one of it. Try the sauce, you will like the sauce. Mm -hmm. Is it alright? It tastes good? Yeah. Oh, that much sauce there. A little bit gritty, oh. but. It's not sure. Yeah. I'm putting in. Like two. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm. That sauce is really yummy. <laughs> too doughy. Yummy. Too Delicious. I love the black, the black, the black.